first of all a very good morning to all of you and hope you all are uh, doing good and safe and fine and uh, we all pray for uh, uh, everyone's good will and safety yes uh, my name is kalyan as i mentioned just before and my uh, i am today here along with my colleague mr anand and also with mr shiv kumar who is our presenter for today's session uh, we uh, uh, so amster technologies we are uh, uh, based out of bangalore and we are a 15 years old organization and iso 9001 2015 certified company and also affiliated to uh, some of reputed chapters like uh, computer society of india nascom bangalore chamber of industries and commerce istd and many more we are into it and uh, non it technical services an IBM business partner for their product training, software sales, manpower consulting services at lateral level, and also training sales and delivery partner to Arrow Enterprise Computing Solution, which is one of the leading organization in the world. So this is just a short intro about us, and thanks for joining today our session, which is on design thinking and overview. Uh, we all uh, we all are well aware yes this is uh, one of the upcoming topic which is um, uh, we all would like to know more about it and um, mr shiv kumar he is a accredited trainer actually on design thinking and that's when we with his help we could come forward today to present this uh, topic and mr shiv kumar comes uh, with 19 plus years of overall experience as a technology evangelist and He's a enterprise uh, uh, level trainer, SME subject matter expert on few of uh, uh, branded uh, technologies like Salesforce and uh, a couple of more technologies so on. And he also played a role of L&D specialist manager at uh, a big MNCs, uh, leading MNCs. He headed, uh, while he was working as a program manager, he trained more than 7,000 plus uh, entry-level uh, freshers uh, in the last 10 years. And he's also certified on a Salesforce platform application build, building and administration control and uh, testing uh, body uh, ISTQB from there and ITIL as well. So I hope certainly you will have a, a very good interactive session from with Mr. Shukumar and uh, you can hear from uh, hear more from him uh, about himself and his uh, knowledge and idea about design thinking. So I would like to invite Mr. Shukumar to take over the session and uh, uh, continue forward. And uh, thank you so much once again for joining and uh, we'll be Thanks, thanks, Kalyan. Thanks for your uh, introduction about me. Uh, once again, thanks. Uh, so, good morning. Uh, this uh, webinar on uh, design thinking overview. Uh, I think, I'm uh, sorry, uh, your voice uh, clarity is a little bit of missing. If you could just come closer or. Yeah, is it clear now? Is it yeah. uh, uh, clear and. Uh, uh, dear participants, probably you can also just mention in the chat if you are able to hear. Yeah, that would be our idea. So, hope I am clear and audible. Yes, to me it is uh, clear now. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, so thanks Kalyan uh, for uh, giving me the introduction, okay, about myself, yeah. So, uh, I Thank come you. with 19 years of experience, okay, I'm an accredited trainer in design thinking, uh, delivered around uh, uh, 60 60 sessions for from entry level to the mid level managers and to the senior leadership uh, on the design thinking uh, and also I was a program manager for entry level program for one of my uh, two uh, organizations where I worked and there are around 7000 freshers got trained under me. I'm an SME in Salesforce. So I do a lot of corporate trainings for big clients uh, uh, like Oracle, uh, then Capgemini, Cognizant, uh, IBM most of the companies on the Salesforce front. Uh, so currently I'm in a consultant uh, doing a lot of trainings and as well as on the, on the project work. So uh, before I get into 
this okay uh, so let's see what is the agenda that we are going to talk today uh, in the next one hour we are going to talk about what is design thinking why design thinking is uh, uh, important and uh, we will compare the traditional uh, the software development versus the design thinking process the traditional process and what are the different phases that we have in design thinking uh, what is the use of the each phase what are the different tools that are that are used how these phases are going to help us in solving the, the problems uh, so we talk about the design thinking phases and uh, we also talk about some of the critical resources to aid in your design thinking journey journey uh, so if you want to start up a design thinking uh, in your team in your organizations what are the resources that is required to start with and what are the recommendations that you could uh, take it ahead and uh, the conclusion part so this is the agenda for the next one hour uh, uh, uh kalyan hope uh, you are able to see the chat window right so if anyone asks uh, any questions please let me know and even i'll also see the chat window okay uh, rashmi how is the yeah. voice now is it clear and better uh, rashmi hello is it clear now Rashmi, is it clear? Prabhakar, is it clear? Uh, is it I am audible? Right? Yeah, to me, yes, sir. I think just let's wait participants' uh, feedback so that it we are clear. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Saying, yes. Great. Thanks. Yes, Thanks, yes, Prabhakar. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Vera. Thank you. Okay. So before I step into uh, the topic, okay, uh, I have some small questions. Okay. Uh, to be a successful in today's highly technology, uh, what are the top three skills that you do need to have? An IT, an IT engineer, or a software professional, or or any 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 working in any domain. So, what are the the top ten skills, or the, at least I require the top three skills that is required for an individual uh, to be a highly successful as an a technologist? Uh, the current uh, global competitive market. Any any answers? Perfect, excellent, Vira. Superb, innovation, excellent. Very good. Any other answers? Adaptability, excellent, Prabhaka. Subject matter expert, innovation. Very good. So I think you all guys works in, in project delivery. So you uh, interact with the uh, clients uh, day and day and uh, with the stakeholders. Okay. And we can see a lot of issues, problems that are coming in your project. So you will be solving those particular problems in different ways. Okay. So what is that exactly you require as an individual? Continuous improvement. Okay. Yes, agility, risk, I agree with that. Rashmi, Shankar, we just started. We just started, Shankar. Thanks for joining. Yeah, so design thinking says that, okay, the top three skills that is required for an, a, a, a highly technology, an SME works in a technology. Uh, one is the complex problem solving. Okay, uh, the, uh, the complex problem, how are you going to solve the particular problem? And the critical thinking, Okay, someone said innovation, that's correct. Okay, uh, so that is called as a critical thinking. And the third one is the creativity. Okay, so how are you going to come out with a solution in a different way? How are you going to solve that particular issue or that particular problem and providing a solution to that? Okay, so that is one of the, the top three skills. Uh, that's what the market, as per the Gartner uh, study, says that. Uh, these are the top three skills each and every individual need to have uh, in any industry. It's not specific to software development. It can be in any industry that he's working, he or she working. So let's see what is this. Okay. So Bob Gill is the one of the uh, the graphical designer. Okay. Uh, he says that 
you cannot hold a design in your hand okay it's not a thing it's a process it's a system it's a way of thinking okay so this is the definition that he has given about the, uh, the design and the definition of the design he says okay uh, you cannot hold a design in your hand it's not a thing it's a, not a process it's a system so what is this what is this design thinking why people are behind about this when we have other uh, the process like software development the uh, software development life cycle when we have agile when we have lean process why people are talking about design thinking what is so special about it what is that we are going to do in this so that is where the picture comes here okay so this is where we are going to talk design thinking so design thinking is a process for creative problem solving so you are going to solve a problem in a, in a in a different innovative way it's a problem solving approach that focuses on users and their emotional needs while experiencing the products and the services and thinking is in a practice that helps the designers to look beyond the functional needs and unearth their emotional needs design thinking is empathy towards the customer finding out what is the problem that your customer is facing so you are going to talk to the customer in an empathy way finding out what is the problem that he is facing how are you going to come out with the solutions for those particular problem so it is also called as one of the organizational silos uh, that derives a culture of collaborations and experimentation so there are a lot of definitions that talks about the design thinking okay it also talks about that it's a process to help out uh, to come out with an uh, ideation okay coming out with a prototype on the given problem statement okay so you need to come out with a problem statement when you come out with a problem statement what is the solution that you are going to derive so that is what the design thinking talks about okay i have a small example okay before i give you the overall picture about the design thinking okay i would like to take in a real time example and i would like to talk about this everyone are aware about the traditional incubator right yes everyone are about the uh, traditional incubator i think these are the incubators that we have we see in in the hospitals specifically for the kids so this is one of the biggest issue problem okay not the traditional incubator but i'll come out with the problem statement okay uh, so as per the statistics every year over 2 million babies okay across the world okay they die when they are born the reason is because of the prematurity they born okay uh, before 9 months that is one of the reason the other reason is low body weight and uh, the other reason is they are hypothermic because of the very low body temperature so this is also the one of the uh, we also see in our regular uh, uh, daily uh, this thing okay we see in our uh, families also so when a new baby borns immediately they take the baby and because of certain issues if the baby might have the low body weight or a breathing problem or a low body temperature so babies require a certain temperature okay because the room when they came when they come out from the mother's room outside the room temperature is not sufficient so they need to be put in a particular incubator where a certain temperature is required for them so that is these are the some of the reasons some of the problems that are coming out okay uh, in the in the world and uh, uh, so not every every mother or a parents so afford okay in in putting their babies into the traditional incubators okay now uh, you know can you guess what would be the cost of this particular traditional incubator that you are seeing any 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 approximately cost i don't want the exact exact cost but what is the the cost so we cannot buy it definitely yeah 5 lakhs prabhakar said 5 lakhs very good okay approximately as per the uh, the, the statistics it says it is $20000 okay and now now when we talk about the Uh, the poor people okay so it is very difficult for them to uh, put their babies okay going to the big hospitals and uh, putting their babies into the, these kind of incubators now the problem is 
the cost the cost of this traditional incubator is twenty thousand dollars not everyone can afford this so this was one of the problem which has come out and uh, embrace global is one of the ngo uh, uh, they have taken this particular project and they work with the stanford design thinking school and they thought they need to come out with a solution for this uh, specifically for the uh, uh, for the babies okay uh, where uh, they need to come out with an uh, incubators the low cost incubator okay which will be readily available for all the people i mean not only for the rich even for the poor people even for the even for the uh, developing countries like us like india sri lanka nepal bangladesh all these things and they came they took this particular problem and uh, they have defined their problem statement so in design thinking you need to define this problem statement okay now the problem statement when they took up this particular project the problem statement was how might we prevent the infant mortality by creating a baby incubator at a less than 1% cost of the current incubator so this was a problem statement which they have come out and they started working on this particular project they came out with different prototypes okay and uh, what they did they came out with a particular uh, uh, a prototype and they tested one of the uh, incubator prototype and what happened when they tested this particular one there were still some of the issues were there when they took this particular incubator specifically in the villages uh, countries like nepal and bangladesh okay you know the in villages right so the electricity is one of the major problem okay we don't have 24 by 7 electricity there okay you see a lot of frequent power cuts there okay and uh, it was a it was one of the when they took this kind of uh, they took the prototype and they tested in some of the hospitals the problem was the electricity and they came back again they redefined their problem statement so the problem was not still not solved because they have the issues of the uh, the electricity and uh, and the uh, what you called you need to take this big kind of an incubator to different hospitals okay the uh, the movement of these uh, machines are also very uh, very big problem issues then what they did they redefined their problem statement they reframed their pro problem statement now they 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 have come out with a statement right how might we create a portable device a portable device that can be moved to keep the baby warm as well as providing a sterile environment with the usage of electricity at extremely low cost so that was the the uh, uh, the problem that was the problem statement they have come out and uh, they have think in a human centric way the human centric way is the mothers the hospitals okay then they started connecting with the the users who are going to use this particular incubator the users are mothers users are nurses users are doctors okay and they try to connect with them uh, in the form of empathy try to understand what are the issues okay and they finally came out with a after 100 prototypes okay they have come out with an, a low cost incubator okay which is like a it's like an, a carry back kind of anything if you see the photograph okay the the kind of the baby okay the first the foremost thing specifically in our indian culture okay there is an, a, a a very big attachment okay uh, a lot of emotional attachment between the baby and the mother now if you see the baby is folded in a in a packaged uh, incubator and if you see this particular incubator okay of uh, which is you can uh, put the baby and you can wrap the baby in the bag and if you see the kind of the material that they have used now this particular material this particular incubator will provide okay a body warmth okay body temperature to the baby okay it can be movable you can take it from take it anywhere okay and also okay it runs without electricity okay so if you for it runs both it runs with electricity and if you don't have electricity also still it runs okay if you see there's an a sachet kind of a thing this kind it's it's a uh, it's a waxable it's a wax kind of a substance uh, specifically in the villages when you don't have a power okay so you can recharge it if you, for example if you don't have a power 
what you can do is you can just uh, take this uh, flexible sachet and dip it in the hot water okay and dip it in the hot water and place on this particular uh, on the particular uh, place and uh, the hot or the heat which is coming out from this sachet will be there for four hours to five hours so this is how okay uh, the, uh, and uh, the project this has been taken was uh, by the embrace they worked with the uh, design thinking school of stanford and the four students uh, are from our india uh, they have worked on this they came out with at least 70 to 80 prototypes okay and finally they have designed can you can you guess what would be the approximate cost for this particular incubator approximately cost quickly you can just type me in the window it's okay 20 to 30k maybe less it should be around 50,000 very good nice answers 2,000 yeah so the the cost of this uh, uh, the incubator is dollar twenty five, twenty five dollars. Yeah, which is almost all eighteen hundred thousand. And uh, this NGO is uh, 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 is in Bangalore, and uh, they have uh, developed so many of these uh, incubators for the babies, and it has been distributed to. Uh, lot of companies uh, sorry a uh, lot of village people specifically uh, i just want to show you one video okay uh, which definitely touches our heart okay uh, one second guys yeah one second i am i'm projecting the video to you okay how successfully they are uh, i am just sharing my screen to you One second, voice also. Are you able to see the video, guys? Are you able to see the screen? T S. Okay. Uh, are you able to see the uh, the screen, uh, the video screen? Okay. One second. Now, can you see the uh, the? Yes. No, I have not started the video. Okay, you are able to see the Windows Player, right? Right, great, thanks. Okay, very heart touching. Okay, uh, you can see this video. It's just not more than two minutes. Okay. Okay, uh, one second, yeah. Are you not able to? Okay. Okay, you're not able to listen the, the sound? Okay, you are not able to. Uh, uh, okay, uh, Kalyan, any any help on this? I want to just run this video. I think you have to remove the headset. Try that again. My headset, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you are using headset, you have to remove. Yeah. Okay. One second. One second. Thank you so much. One second. Okay. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.
Hear me? How is the video? Thanks, Apurva. If you see the video, okay, uh, you can see the uh, the kind of uh, the thank you, thanks, Rashmi. So that's how they have designed it. Okay, so that's because of of the design thinking. Okay, so it's it's one of the okay, uh, it's one of the methodology. Okay. Uh, uh, a design that originated from the Stanford uh, the University, and it is today it is considered to be one of the most sought of the skills in the industry. Okay, so this is how the the help of design thinking they have followed the different process that are there in the design thinking, and uh, the students of the Stanford University they came out of this uh, this uh, 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 movable uh, incubator. So they have all the aspects in the, pers in the perspective of mother the hospital people so this incubator runs without the electricity and uh, and if you can see when you saw the particular video there was a small light okay uh, when you, you can charge this incubator and if you don't uh, if you don't have a power take the sachet dip it in the hot water and use it so that's how the design thing this is one of the example i just took it out just want to tell you about how this has been implemented there's a lot of examples, okay, uh, uh, where design thinking is getting implemented, uh, okay, and it is not specific to an industry, uh, specific to IT. It is implemented in all the industries, okay, in the health, okay, means banking, products, okay, uh, information technology, okay, uh, and if you take, uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, so uh, that's how it's been used. Okay, a lot of industries have been adapting this particular methodology, and they are using. Now, if you see here, uh, how is this is derived? Okay, if you see design thinking. Okay, they 
they look into these three aspects okay desirability viability and feasibility okay now if you look into this a design thinking is a human centered approach to innovate a set of principles that helps the uh, create the customers obsessed culture now if you see look into this three uh, uh, the diagram okay desirability is the people okay the users require <laughs> Sorry, uh, presentation. We could not see the presentation. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Now, can you able to see the presentation now? Not yet appeared. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, if you see in the the, uh, the diagrams, okay, uh, the people are the desirability. The users, okay, who are facing the issues. Like in our example, in the embrace example, people are the the mothers, specifically the mothers. Okay. Uh, if you see the business, okay, the viability that is called as another quadrant in this particular diagram, okay, the business, okay, the cost of the, the physical incubator is twenty thousand dollars, okay, and which has been reduced to, okay, uh, one one percent of the the original cost. So the business is also there, and specifically, and the third one is the technology, the how feasible the product that you are putting out, the coming, the product you are developing. With. What kind of technology that you are using? So, if you see in that particular embrace example, it can be charged without power. Also, it can be charged with power. Okay, and uh, that's how they have come out. And if you see, uh, you can see the design thinking comes out, evolves from these three quadrants. The intersection of these three quadrants, that is your uh, 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 desirability, viability, and the feasibility. That's where your design thinking comes into the picture. What is the exact definition? Okay, so I am not sure. Hope you have heard about the IDEO. IDEO is one of the uh, uh, the biggest firm, a design thinking firm in US, uh, where they have come out with lot of uh, uh, solutions, specifically in the form of a design thinking. So according to Tim Brown, okay, uh, what he says is, uh, uh, design thinking is a human centered and a collaborative approach. The problem solving using a design mindset to solve the complex problem. Okay, so this is the actual definition, which is drawn by Tim Brown, who is one of the uh, the president of the IDEO, and uh, uh, is one of the design thinking firm. They have come out with lot of products uh, in, in the world. Uh, okay, based on the the problems uh, the problems that they have. So when I talk about this, the what is the importance of design thinking now if you see uh, okay if you see the the, uh, the video okay now do you see the importance of coming out the solution coming out the solution you know innovative way in a different uh, creativity okay uh, they have they have contacted different users try to understand their problems and they have come out with a solution so it's a structured process design thinking is a structured process to find solutions the complex human problems the importance of the design thinking is any organization if you take okay they are broadly divided into two spaces one is the uh, 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 serves the purpose that is called as the value creation the other one is your value capture the value creation space is where most of the new experiments the new solutions uh, developments takes place okay and this uh, space is typically known for transformational innovations so that is where the importance of design thinking comes into the value capture space is one of the uh, uh, one of the space where the performance improvement initiatives lies this space is typically known for incremental innovations to help extract even more value from the existing products so it is also important for organizations to continuously invest in both the spaces now we'll take few of the examples. Okay, we'll take the examples like Nokia. How many people are using Nokia now? Nokia mobiles. How many people are using Nokia mobiles now? But 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 Nokia was very famous in the initial stage. Do you agree with my point? We can't see that exactly. Rashmi, yes, we don't see the mobiles now. But 
the mobiles have come out with Nokia itself. Because I re still remember when I started using my mobile in 2000. Okay, the Nokia mobile, it is very tough mobile. It's a first phone. Yeah, <laughs> it was my first phone. Yeah. Okay, so though you hit it on the ground, okay, it, it will break it, but you can still assemble it and still you can use it. Okay, but now what is the stage of the Nokia? Okay, now Nokia example, other example is Kodak. How many people are using Kodak? Kodak is one of the famous photographs of the camera, uh, the device. How many people are using? Okay, they are, they are, these two companies are not seen in the industry because they are adamant to change. Okay, they are adamant to change to the process. Okay, as per some sort of statistics. Okay, Android, Nokia. Yes, yes, Apurva, yeah. So, uh, uh, Android has approached Nokia to implement their uh, Android operating system, but Nokia, they, they, they did not agree it actually. Okay, so that was one of the, the, the news. Okay, the Android operating system, which was developed by Google, okay, they approached Nokia to implement it because Nokia was using the Symbian operating system at that time, okay, and they did not use. Now, where are these companies? Because they are you have to change okay you have to change as per their process okay when there is a change is there you also need to be a change so that is these are some of the examples many examples are there okay where uh, you can take the, the best example the uber uber is no one no one owns that particular uber company because it's it's, it's a it's a car based right people can book their cabs okay and uh, so innovatively they have come out okay specifically the yo-yo rooms okay uh, these are some of the examples where the design thinking have been implemented okay let's see the difference between the traditional uh, thinking and the design thinking way uh, so traditional thinking okay so if you see here the flawless planning okay flawless planning will be there avoid failure okay business and technology centric more we talk in the form of a business when we talk with the clients we talk in the form of a technology centric we use that technology we'll use for back end we'll use for middleware we'll use that okay it's more of a, a business perspective we follow the waterfall model okay we follow the waterfall model of software development life cycle okay requirements drive the prototype here Okay, so you come out with the requirements, then you come out with the prototype. Okay, here individual work for the client in the traditional thinking, traditional way of doing it. See, you feels like a work actually, but when you compare these points with the design thinking, okay, it's a enlightened trial and error method. You are going to try, you will fail, you will fail fast. Okay, you will initially fail. I'll take one of the best example, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Okay, who is one of the the greatest admired captain in in the world okay he initially failed okay he failed four four matches five matches he failed 20 15 12 but okay uh shankar can you able to hear me now ah uh, yes yeah so you take the ms dhoni example right then later in the vizac match and he is one of the most successful captain in the in the cricket uh, in the cricket world. So you fail fast. Now design thinking is more of a people and experience centric. I'll take the same example of embroise. People, people are the users who are using that particular product. The mothers, the nurses, the doctors. Okay, more of an experience centric. So when they come out with the initial product, they failed because they are not able to use that particular product in a village where there was no power they came back and they have reinvented they have come out with a new product where the pro the product or the, the uh, embryos okay will work without the power it is more of design thinking is more of an iterative and agile way okay prototype drive requirements we see the prototype we see the the exact we show it to the client what a, how how the product the end product is going to come out and one more important thing, the collaborative cross and functional teams working with the client. Everyone will be working here. Okay, it can be your agile team, it can be a development team, it can be a testing team, it can be a marketing team, it can be a sales team, any team. Okay, 
and here you feels like a serious play but it's like a game it's like a play that you do it okay so these are some of the traditional uh, the differences between the traditional thinking and uh, 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 traditional thinking versus your design thinking okay you might have one question in mind okay how we can when agile is there okay why design thinking design thinking is not a new word it's a old word okay most of the people not aware about it okay design thinking stanford school uh, the stanford university design dt school was launched last 20 to 25 years back only but people are started now using it because it's more of a customer centric when i compare with agile agile is dt complements with agile i am not saying uh, okay it's it's, it's purely uh, not into agile it complements the agile but the key difference here is the empathy part empathy towards the customer empathy towards the user okay where your agile is more of a software execution process it is a prefixed with the discover phase okay from the dt okay whereas it will um, you are more of of a, a come out with a sprint and a, more of a agile way but here design thinking is not like that the level of user research that you do in design thinking is far more much better than the agile that we do okay and functionality wise you prioritize over the sprint releases okay will be your uh, the user first and to do the adaptability okay so the collaborative work like the brainstorming that you do one of the uh, the method okay uh, or the process or the tool that we call in design thinking is a more of a brainstorming way you involve everyone you involve the clients you involve the users you involve the your team to come out with the different ideas you brainstorm on those ideas and come out with a solution so these are some of the uh, the, the differences okay uh, the between the traditional thinking and design thinking we'll get into what is the what are the different types of phases that we have in design thinking like as i said if you get into our software development life cycle we have plan analyze design build test and deploy these are the uh, uh, what do we call the different phases in the software development life cycle similarly in uh, design thinking also we have five phases okay which talks about okay from the starting okay like call it as okay empathize the first phase is called as empathize the second phase is called as define third phase is called as ideate and uh, the fourth phase we call it as prototype and the fifth phase is called as test or implement then it's again an iterative way then again you come out you come out with the implement you test the product in a prototype way you take the feedback from the customer from the user and then again you go back okay reinvent redefine ideate then prototype you this iterative process this iterative process will keep on moving if you see this this iterative process will keep on moving until unless you get a final product what is it we are going to do exactly in each of these phases okay why this each see these are the five phases but different organizations okay uh, 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 design thinking is uh, extensively used in in some of the big organizations like infosys ibm uh, then uh, uh, tcs uh, then sap accenture okay so they took this model the five phases they came out with a, their own cycle as per their process but they implemented all these five phases now what do we do exactly in empathize phase okay it's a more of a foundation towards the human centered designing the process okay what do we do exactly in the define what do we do in the ideation prototype testing so these are the five phases that you need to undergo okay when you are working on the design phases okay uh, are you able to listen me okay uh, are you able to uh, understand me following me any any questions is it clear great thanks thanks so much so let's get into each and every phase and we'll relate to our problem statement okay now in design thinking coming out with a problem statement is very very important okay now if you 
let's relate our each and every phase to our embrace example so that you'll be able to understand the complete process how they have implemented it let's get into the empathize phase what is empathy any examples guys friends any 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 what do you mean by empathy about putting yourself in uh, the other shoe and understanding their issues super answer super answer yes putting your hands into their shoes and finding out coming out with their self yes it's very good in other shoes very good connecting to the customers and users with emotional way okay compassion excellent yeah so the users feel that someone is there who is going to okay sort out the problem the problem that i am facing do you agree with me right okay empathy empathy is one of the first step in the design thinking because it's a skill that allows us to understand and share the same feelings that others feel okay so what we are doing we are able to put ourselves in other shoes other people's shoes okay vira has given the excellent uh, answer putting yourself in other shoes and connect with them how might be how they might be feeling about their problem the circumstances or a situation okay you can see some of the diagrams here some of the images okay connecting to the customer now let's compare with the uh, let's relate to our problem statement who were to who who were our users in our embrace problem now these students of the stanford university students they empathize towards their mothers they try to understand their problem now how long the baby will be there in the physical incubator in to take in our real lives also okay i can take one or quote some one of the example okay recently one when, when my uh, uh brother okay uh, my own brother okay uh, had a baby okay immediately they took the baby and uh, uh, the mother was in one hospital and the baby was in another hospital now for us for 3 days to 4 days it was a very hectic for us because the baby has to feed from the mother's milk so we used to take the milk from mother's hospital again we used to go to the, the child hospital so that was the issue so that was one of the users so if you see the the uh, the prototype they have come out the product it's easily you can take the baby you can fold you can wrap the baby in the bag you will also have mother touch mother can feed the baby okay so that is called empathy that is called the empathize connect with the users try to understand their problem what is that okay so that is where your empathy is about experiencing the feelings of others you are trying to understand what it is like to be there in the job okay and you are doing a research okay empathy may even involve collaborating and co-designing with the audience so these are the different uh type i mean how you do the empathize toward the customer see understanding your end users at a deep level that is very important users gaining empathy for their needs their wants their challenges daily life typical activities like okay observations interviews immersions okay this is where <coughs> sorry the activities that you do in the empathize okay observations you go go to the users see what they care about it okay uh, interviews one of the primary activities okay this is where you hold on one on one interviews okay you ask questions you get the answers okay uh, immersion step into your user shoes so so you can feel and experience their day to day activities okay so this is how you need to you need to get into the empathize phase empathize phase is an essential because it stresses the human centered or a user centered nature of your interview from the from the get go the next stage is your define process now once you understand the problem once you understand the problem okay the users that they are facing when you interacted with them this is the phase where you have rich information with you when you talk when you spoke to the customers or the users okay and uh, you need to focus on this particular information so that you need to come out with a goal, uh, goal okay with at least one actionable problem statement 
that focuses on the insight that you uncovered from the real users. This is where you need to come out with the problem statement. When I relate this defined phase to my embryos example, which I showed you, the initial problem statement was what? Come out with a, a, a product which can, which will be the less cost than the the existing, the physical uh, uh, the device, which is around twenty thousand dollars. That was the initial problem statement. But when they connected with the users, when they did the empathize between the users and the customers, the problem statement was completely changed. Okay, the problem state was what was completely changed. So that is where the problem statement should be three things. Identify the target population, their need and why that need is important to them. Okay, so understand the specific users. Okay, the deep needs, the inside specific users. This could be the people, okay, that they should have been discussed in the empathize stage, your deep needs. What needs that do you do your users have? Make sure you look at the data you gathered, okay, during the empathize stage to identify the needs, okay, and in the insights, why do you think the user has these needs? So these are all the things that you need to define it, okay, coming out within a, a problem statement. Once you define it, okay, the, the next stage and one of the most uh, I, I like this particular stage because uh, I have been involved in a lot of uh, 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 problem solution, problem solving issues in one in earlier organization. Okay, ideation. Okay, the best example, the, the image itself is showing. If you see the image, okay, these people are coming out with the ideas. Yes, ideas and they are putting their ideas in the post it and pasting onto the wall or on the board. What is this ideation? Okay, ideation is the process of idea generation. Coming out, come out with as many as ideas. Okay, it's a phase of divergent thoughts. Okay, ideas can be wild ideas. Okay, that can explore your solutions. Okay, who thought that we get uh, uh, driverless cars? We, we saw this in James Bond movies. James Bond car will run without the uh, uh, without the driver did we expect it but now we can see that with iot technology do you agree or not okay that is called as your wild idea so in ideation in the ideation phase it's a practice of conceiving the ideas okay and this is where you a cross disciplinary team will be there the team can be anyone okay the users okay your sales team your marketing team your development team your testing team Okay, and one more thing, in this particular one, you need to give values to everyone's idea. Okay, ideation phase is a phase where you need to come out with as many as ideas. The ideas can be simple ideas, ideas can be wild ideas, but doesn't matter for me. Okay, how many ideas that you are going to generate. So this is the one of the, the, the one of the greatest stage in, in design thinking where you come out with various ideas okay now here we prioritize the breadth over the depth as we look for a diverse range of ideas to prototype and test with the real people so try to generate as many as ideas as possible more ideas means more potential solutions all ideas are considered and there are no constraints or restrictions okay now generally we do it uh, in, in our regular uh, uh, project delivery meetings we call all our team members in a conference room and we when we come out with the problem statement okay a junior resource will be, he wants to come out with a solution generally the leaders okay the project managers the test leads what they say is no 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 you okay please sit down okay you don't need to give so that is because you are discouraging the person who is who is trying to give some idea this is what it actually happens in the, the delivery the delivery meetings but here it is not like that okay everyone has to come out their ideas the ideas can be simple ideas it can be wild ideas or a complex ideas but you need to come out with the ideas now once the idea generation is arrived once you generate as many as ideas categorize those ideas okay put those ideas into clusters okay that is where you do the brainstorming that is where you do the uh, brainstorming once again
the slide was gone into hidden extremity. Sorry for this. Brainstorming. Brainstorm the ideas. Okay. Uh, categorize your ideas into clusters. Okay. And uh, uh, when you are coming out with the ideas, guys, follow, follow. These are the design thinking principles we call it as. Whenever you are coming out with an idea, your idea should be a visual idea. Okay. It should not be in a sentence idea. Take a post-it. Okay. Visualize that idea and draw it in the form of a picture. Getting my point? And put it on the board or on the wall. Your idea should be quantity ideas, quantifiable ideas. Okay. Record and display each idea. Put it on the board. Okay. One conversation at a time. Okay. When you are explaining a particular idea, others has to listen. Okay. Involve everyone. Encourage wild ideas. Very important. Okay. You might not fulfill that particular idea currently, but in future you might fulfill it. The best example is your carless drivers. Okay. Put with the encourage, uh, uh, encourage the wild area. Defer judgment. Don't judge it. Don't comment on the on the people who are coming with the ideas. Don't say, oh, your idea is least idea. Please sit down. Don't say like that. Okay. So that's how the brainstorming happens. Okay. Stay focused on the topic. My topic is what? I need to come out with a product. Okay. Which is less than the uh, the original cost of the uh, the uh, the incubator and it should solve the specifically the mother's problems that is what you are focused on the topic you need to focus on your particular topic build ideas on other ideas it is very important that's that's, a, that's a one of the, uh, the, the the greatest symptom that we have an idea of your friend some idea will pitch into your mind okay so that is called build ideas on other ideas okay think user centric be user centric. Your user is very, very important in that. Okay. Brainstorming that. Here, brainstorm it with the, uh, do the brainstorming, do the clustering and uh, differentiate your ideas here and come out with the, uh, uh, differentiate those ideas. The ideas can be your quick win ideas. That means which can be implemented immediately. Those ideas can be implemented quickly. And, uh, user centric ideas okay which are more specific to the user wild ideas differentiate the ideas like that okay then once your brainstorming is done okay then come out with the start prototyping okay this is one of the phase okay where can you see the the the, the pictures can you tell me which age of uh, people like this? The photos. Quickly. Which age of the people, okay, like this designing? What all the, if you see the photographs, can you see? You see thermocol, you see some rubber, rubber bands. You see, uh, okay, ex ex excellent. Yes, Nani, correct. 10 years old kids, right? Okay, so this is what your prototype. Okay, so design thinking ha has a lot of materials. Okay, it's like the age group between 10 to 15, exactly. Okay, so when I was preparing the slide and putting these photographs, my daughter saw this. Dad, what is that? Oh, this is looks like very good. Okay, this is what we do it in our school. She's an eight years to eight years, nine years uh, old, uh, uh, my daughter. So she was saying, okay, we do this kind of modeling in our school. Yes, exactly, Rashmi, exactly. Okay, now pick up the best ideas, okay, that you have come out in the ideation phase. Okay, come out with three or four or five ideas, which is very important to the user or to the customer and build a prototype. Prototype is a way of thinking by doing, okay. The first rough representation of your idea. Okay, your prototypes can represent your products, your spaces, services, tools, roles. Okay, it can be roles, process, communications, anything. 
okay if you see it provides you with the insight into the functionality of your design and any changes needs to be in order to make your work as a pleasure to use it's a fun play if you see here okay you see a lot of materials that are used okay you see paper scale clay cardboard thermocol wires and fast fail fast fail often okay reduce the cost of failure iterative way you do it okay uh, number of times various forms okay prototype can be a various form it can be a role play also okay we used to do the role plays okay we used to take the real problem in the delivery when we have a p1 ticket okay uh, priority one ticket now how are we going to solve that particular p1 ticket client is bombarding us we are not able to fix that particular p1 ticket okay so how do you do that so these are some of the real okay scenarios or examples that we we use so prototype is one of the best example okay where you come out with the where you uh, give a shape to your ideas okay you see lot of lego materials are used here okay so once your prototype is done then we will do the testing that is where we do the implementation okay this is where we test our product put your product in front of the real users and see how it fares okay so this phase gives you the feedback and insert insight you need to iterate on your prototype and make improvements take the product to your user show it to the feedback that's what in the, if you take if you relate this example to the prototype or to the embrace example which i showed you they initially they came out with a prototype and they tried to test it in the villages but it failed now they came back and they redefined their problem state okay you will see how your target users interact with your prototype and gather the valuable feedback you will learn where your prototype succeeds and where it needs to be improved do you agree with me okay the insights gathered during the testing phase will enable you to iterate on your prototypes okay that is why that embrace example which i have showed you they came out with 80 prototypes 80 prototypes okay they have succeeded out 85 or 90 you can see those prototypes in the google also in the youtube okay so this is where your testing will happen now once this is over okay once you get the final product then you can deliver it to the client to the user or if you get the feedback then follow the same process the same okay your uh, design thinking process okay define it ideate it prototype test it okay and this keeps on iterative okay till you get the final product so these are the five phases okay that design thinking follows okay where every uh, any any solution that you are com uh, coming out okay you need to implement it got it okay so these are the five phases and uh, what are the critical resources to aid in a design thinking journey okay now how do you start Uh, building a team uh, a design thinking team in your uh, project in your firm in your company okay so i have been part of these uh, uh, teams uh, in my earlier organization okay where what we used to do is we used to involve and collaborate with the cross functional team okay with the different teams the team can be partners team sales team agile developers designers marketers project managers developers you need to have a very good collaborative work between all these people okay so first build a team okay and start small and grow okay initially you start anyhow you will start very small okay and later you can grow very well okay some of the companies have a dedicated physical space for for design thinking the best examples okay sap has uh, a space uh, a design thinking space called haphaus hidelberg okay and uh, commercial bank of dubai okay they also have their own design thinking studio okay they you you can also come out with a small space in your project okay you can make a conference room a design thinking design thinking studio 
okay i have been part of these uh, studios in, in in my earlier organization for some projects uh, and we also worked for one or two clients to come out with the studios design thinking studios you see everything so you will have your the users or the design thinking uh, the, the the employees go with the problem statement and uh, they work for uh, eight hours to 16 hours in that room and they come out with a solution okay make design thinking as a part of your standard okay application uh, development methodologies okay it can be your agile methodology it can be a lean methodology it can be a software development life cycle be a part of that okay and digital experience technologies are key okay a digital experience platform they can provide a platform for not only in innovation and uh, a prototyping but also a ready made platform for production so there are some of the critical resources which you can implement it okay so you can get those materials in the market you can create your own uh, design thinking studio in your in your company or in your project okay final is your recommendations okay how are you going to recommend this identify the areas in your business model where there is a need to innovate and where there is a methods can be applied where these methods can be applied okay and uh, that is where your uh, innovation comes engage your stakeholders and get buy in to build a collaborative team and use a design based approach and line up the right skills and resources and uh, recognize the impact of the business ecosystem start small as i said and grow innovate and learn how to innovate as you go on and experiment with these approaches to get it right for your organizations so these are some of the okay uh, recommendations that you need to follow when you are working on uh, design thinking so this is about a small introduction about uh, uh, just an overview of uh, the uh, the concept guys uh, generally uh, we do a one day session a two day a classroom session for most of the companies uh, for most of the projects where uh, i think generally we we speak a half an hour to 45 minutes of theory will be there on the on the uh, day start but the rest we will be completely involved in coming out with the prototype testing everything we follow all the five phases and uh, completely a practical oriented completely hands on a session that we do okay we pick up the uh, problem statement from the project or from the users what they are facing and they come out we implement all these five phases and we come out with an, a working product kind of so it's a more of a practical based okay uh, this session cannot be taught for a, a continuously a four hours or five hours theory session people will get bored but it's a more a hands on session okay we get involved a lot of material is required okay uh, to do this session uh, and uh, you see a lot of postages okay a lot of material is required it's it's a, a very hands on session uh, which will be go up to one day to two days and there are around 60 to 70 tools methods that are available like ideation brainstorming okay how might we okay uh, visual communication okay there are different types of tools that are there okay uh, where you can use those tools to come out with a solution so as i said it's, it's a more of a classroom based session but as a introductory and as an overview i think this session is enough for you okay so this is what the design thinking talks about it any any questions from your side anything else yes yes we yeah so we do a lot of uh, what do you, what do you call is uh, uh, specifically to the it industry yeah uh, the regular problems that we face uh, uh, we do these kind of sessions any questions so it's just an introductory guys okay uh, uh, to just to have an idea hope you like the uh, the concepts hope you understood the concepts what i was talking since one hour because without giving you an example without giving you a problem statement i cannot teach you the design thinking process that's what i took that embrace problem and i showed it to you and that's how 
how design thinking has been implemented in coming out with a product okay uh, uh, specifically for the uh, newborn babies so that's where i took that example and i have followed all those five phases hope hope you understood the uh, the concept of what i spoke since one hour and i hope you understood uh, any any questions feedback uh, would help me a lot uh, i have also projected my slide uh, this is the innovative way of taking the feedback from the participant what did you like uh, most in the, the program and what is that i wish uh, that can be incorporated yeah apurva so how to apply design thinking in organizations which function traditionally in your respective fields of work so so we we use the same process apurva here okay irrespective of uh, uh, different uh, uh, what you call the domain okay uh, based on the uh, we, we we use the the traditional way of developing the applications right software development and all that stuff so we can implement this so you can use some of the tools like your brainstorming ideation all those tools which are there which will help you to come out with the innovative solutions yeah so uh, we are just trying to understand uh, i will share some of the tools uh, i'll share one of these small uh, yeah brainstorming you can do it okay virtually which is, that will help you a lot I, i'll share you some list of the methods and tools to uh, to uh, to sorry to the amster or okay, amster team kalyan i think you can forward it to you okay slam so brainstorming okay which you can be implement your ideation can be implemented okay uh, your prototype can be implemented okay there is another tool called business canvas model that can also be implemented okay so that's okay. about the, yeah that's about the uh, special uh, session thanks thanks everyone hope you like the session uh, thank you very much for joining this okay yes rest me i'll i'll share this to the kalyan okay they will share you the uh, the deck to you thanks thanks apurva yeah there are a lot of examples okay i just picked up one okay so a lot of examples when we do a classroom session i can definitely show those examples to you okay okay thank you so much thanks over to you kalyan thanks thanks mr shiv kumar and uh... thank you so much for your time and enlightening enlightening us with regard to design thinking concepts and overview which is really really wonderful and nice and uh, of course i think this will uh, help all of us to think in differently to an extent to um, move on and um, uh, yeah thanks a lot to all the participants as well for your patience and uh, Uh, joining us today and i we hope you must have liked our uh, the session organized on design thinking with regard to uh, 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 some of the examples and some of the the tools which you have requested for along with that also you will be receiving a uh, uh, recorded this tutorial actually uh, which we will host in a weeks time and we will share you with you all for your once again a reference at any point in time so do uh, share the link to your other colleagues who could not attend so today and uh, they can also get benefit out of it to an extent and yes we certainly thanks mr shankar subramaniam and we will we also look forward for your more participants the participation in days to come with, and we will come with come up with a different more uh innovative such kind of webinars and uh, it's all because of your continuous support and assistance uh, joining us in all our webinars organized so once again thanks to all of you and thanks mr shiv kumar once again and uh, really nice of you to take us through and uh, we look forward to organize more session in days to come uh, with your help sure. thanks thanks kalyan thanks for the opportunity so uh, good day all of you and uh, be safe take care of yourself and your family and uh, yeah 
May we pray for everyone's good good day. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.